Hey Aquarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing amazing. We're going to see what's going on for you guys in love. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop, buy a personal reading there. I have my tarot, my oracle decks, my spiritual jewelry. All right, so we're going to see what's going on with you guys, Aquarius. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, it's with Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watches. You're welcome to your hello. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. I do have your bonus reading up for June 1st through the 10th. How does your person feel? What are they not saying? What are they not revealing? How do they really want to move forward with you? So check it out if you're interested. I also have my Teach Me Tarot course and deck available. It is on <clears throat> Etsy. Okay, um, it is. it has the upright and reverse meanings on every card. It's based off of the traditional right away. You guys have seen this before. If you buy the course, you get the deck half off. If you buy the deck, you get the course 30% off. So to, do take advantage of it. I do reference the cards in my course as well. So all the information is in the description box. All right, let's jump right in. I'm going to use the sacred signs and symbols today. See what's going on with Aquarius. All right, what messages do we have for Aquarius? Clear messages here, please. We have the moon, okay, hidden feelings, secrets, illusions. So some of you guys, you may be dealing with a water sign, okay, but I'm feeling more than likely you're dealing with someone who's been very secretive, right? They've been holding back their true feelings for you. There could be some fears here, illusions, doubts, okay? Um, this is someone who are, you may not be talking to. They may have had a lot of secrets, okay? They, I'm getting repressed emotions and feelings here for sure, but they also could be a secret keeper, um, we have the avocado. Okay, I love avocado. Um, this is the energy of buttering up, smoothing over, consistency. So I think a lot of you guys, um, this we'll see how this plays out, but I think that's what you guys wanted. You wanted consistency. You wanted someone who was there, who was available. And your person may be thinking about, well, how can I be that person? How can I make it up to Aquarius? How can I butter Aquarius back up, right? How can I smooth things over? So let's see what else we need to know. We have the wedding dress. Now, the wedding dress came out in reverse. So some of you guys, this person was not loyal. Maybe they had some commitment issues. Maybe they had a prior commitment and they couldn't move towards you. Some of you guys, you had a conversation about marriage. You thought about marrying this person, okay? Um, but I feel like there was some issues regarding commitment here for sure, okay? All right, let's jump right in. That's all I'm going to do. Aquarius, what's going on? What's going on with my Aquarius out there? Clear messages. What is the current energy for my Aquarius? Okay, we got one that flew over. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, there's definitely some committal energy here coming out. So you guys may even be in a commitment or... um. Okay, there was an ending of a commitment. The challenge was to get this person to commit. So maybe there was a commitment this person was already in. They couldn't commit to you or they were just non-committal. It's telling me that something here with the Nine of Wands or someone decided to just give up. Someone decided to not put in any effort. Someone decided to take the easy way out. So something here wasn't able to move forward, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you're focused on that Queen of Pentacles energy. You're focused on finding someone who you have shared values. You have shared you know, um, way of life, okay? You want some kind of stability, security, movement. Now, in the past, we have the star, we have the three of wands and the nine of swords. So, be dealing with um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, this is your energy, Aquarius. Something's telling me in the past, you had high hopes and desires for something to work out, right? I feel a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you could have been waiting for this person for a very long time to take some action towards you. I feel like you saw a future with this person. You had high hopes for something here to, to really work out, okay? This is someone that you have, um, you think is very special. They could have saw you as very special as well. But I'm getting that you guys could have been waiting for this person to maybe free themselves from another situation here. There was some kind of stress, frustrations, or someone here could have been tied up in a connection. I'm getting tied up, not able to come towards you. And I feel some of you guys, maybe you waiting, you're waiting on this person to do something, waiting on this person to free themselves from something here that's kept this connection stuck. I think both of you guys had, had very, very... Um, 
I think both of you guys really thought very fondly of each other with the star card, but I'm also getting that someone kind of um, got tired of waiting. We'll see how this works out. Let's see how this plays out here. Someone got tired of waiting for the other person to maybe wrap up another situation here or to take some kind of forward movement toward having a commitment. I think the commitment was the blockage. Someone was already in a commitment. That's what I'm seeing here. On... On your mind, Aquarius, is the wheel in reverse. So you feel like things haven't been able to move forward. This is you. Like, you know, you're putting all your energy and effort into something and it doesn't manifest, right? You feel like you put yourself out there and something has not been able to move forward in the right direction. So you feel like you're taking backward steps with this person. You also have the Ace of Pentacles in the world. See, a lot of you guys, you want security. You may have offered this person something here. You may have offered them the world. The Ace of Pentacles, a lot of you guys are thinking about you know, commitment, marriage, you you perhaps wanted marriage from this person, okay, maybe you had this conversation about marriage many times here with the wedding dress, and I think a lot of you guys, you really truly believe that um, in the right time, things would uh, be able to move forward, right, the world card is here, so this is about something here being out of your control, but you really did believe in it, the like ace of pentacles, you really saw stability, you saw a future with this person, and I think they did too, but I also think this is someone who got caught up in this situation here, um, and maybe they told you something that they would break away. They, you know, they come meet you halfway, but they didn't. So a lot of you guys, there's something here that was very unclear. There were illusions here. Your person's energy is the nine of cups in reverse, the knight of swords in reverse, and a ten of pentacles. See, what I'm seeing is that your person, um, they're not happy. If you guys have broken communication from this person, the knight of swords in reverse, if you block this person, if you stop communicating with them all together this is someone who's not fulfilled okay they're hurt they're, they're really sad they're emotionally drained they're confused this is someone who does have a lot of feelings for you but the problem is again ten of pentacles there's a marriage or commitment in um in someone's energy here um let's see yeah see four wands how they see moving forward with you is the four wands. They want to come together. They want a reunion. They want to restore harmony to their to the connection here. They want to smooth things over. This is someone who sees themselves as being with you um, in a very, I'm getting, this could be a commitment here with the four wands. It also could just mean coming together, a reunion, um, engagements, that kind of thing. So this is definitely someone who wants to smooth up to you. Um, the problem is, is that this commitment, oops, the problem is, is that someone is involved with something that they may not be able to get out of. Okay, let's see how this is all going to play out. Aquarius. Oops. Aquarius. I'm getting a lot of committal energy here. Yeah. See, someone has to put an end to a situation. We have the death card here with the five of wands, with the seven of wands in verse. I feel a lot of you guys, you feel like this person has not been standing up for what you want. They have not been standing up for the connection. And that's what's created a lot of conflict here between you and this person. I think a lot of you guys, you want this person to make the right decisions, right? And if they really are passionate um, and want some kind of change here moving forward with you, they will do it. They will do whatever they need to do to perhaps cut out another situation in order to move towards you and give you what you want. So there is an energy of some kind of change coming through, okay, with the death card. We'll see how this um, plays out. All right, clear messages here for Aquarius. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe, Aquarius. All right, let's see what the Queen of Pentacles is, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Wands of Earth. Someone is like, I want, I want stability. I want you to commit. I want to show, I want you to show me that you're serious. Otherwise, I'm done. Nine of Wands of Earth. I'm not fighting for this connection anymore. See, the Three of Cups came out with the Eight of Wands of Earth. There's some kind of third party energy here. There's a third party of some sort that's creating delays, obstacles, or may even be causing broken communication between you and your person, Aquarius, okay? It's telling me that right now you guys are not coming together. You're not understanding each other. Three cups in verse, you guys are not in union with each other because of some kind of communication or poor communication or, again, a commitment here. I think a lot of you guys, maybe you, you decided to stop communicating with this person and give up because this person wasn't taking action, the right action toward this queen of pentacles. It could be um, someone that they were committed to or they were not taking action toward you to give you that queen of pentacles energy, that commitment, that stability, right? Make promises um, towards something here long term. So in the past, um, you had high hopes, you had desires, you've been waiting for this person for change, three of wands, waiting for a future. Um, but there's been a lot of stress because, well, the six of wands came out in the verse. There's been stress because something here hasn't been victorious. The page of pentacles in verse, this person has not been offering something here to you. 
right? A lot of you guys, you've been spending a lot of time in your head, four of swords, you've been resting, you've been really thinking about this, trying to understand it all, trying to find peace of mind, but it's stressing you out. You've gotten to the point where you've done enough waiting, right? You've done enough um, being in isolation, waiting, um, waiting for this person to take action. And the page of pentacles, verse, this person has not been doing anything. They have not been offering anything. They have not been making plans. And so something here has not been victorious. It's not worked out. And it's gotten you in this nine of swords energy, stress, anxiety, worries, feeling stuck. But this also could be your person's energy. Okay. So yeah, I think a lot of you guys, you really do care about this person. You think they're very special to you, but you also want movement. The three of wands, you want movement. You want change. So we have the wheel of fortune and reverse the world with the ace of pentacles. What's this about? Yeah. Knight of Swords and Verse the Hermit. A lot of you guys, you stopped communicating this person. You pulled back. Queen of Wands and Verse, you pulled back. You took back your energy. The Hermit, a lot of you guys are saying, you know what? That I don't need to talk to you. I need time apart. I need space. I need to work on myself. The Hermit is isolating, withdrawing, blocking, ghosting, whatever. It's it's pulling back your energy and saying, you know what? If you're not getting giving me X, Y, and Z, then I'm gonna just focus on myself right now. Okay, so the, there is an energy of someone not communicating with the Knight of Swords in verse, cutting ties with someone, okay? Because your, your eye is on the Ace of Pentacles. Your eye is on the commitment, stability, something solid, an offer. And I think things have not been working out. This person has not been offering anything, right? Page of Pentacles in verse. If things have not been moving forward. So let's see what's going on with your person's energy. Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords in reverse. They're not happy. Yeah, this is someone who wants to come in, come towards you. Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. They want to come towards you. Seven of Wands. They want to stand up for this connection. I'm getting the energy of like, you do mean something to me, Aquarius. You do mean something to me. I am willing to show you. I'm willing, I am willing to fight for you. I'm, I am willing to take action towards you to make it up to you, right? To smooth things over. Seven of Wands. I want to... I want to show you that I mean business, okay? This is definitely someone, this is on their mind right now. Even though there's no communication, they want to come in very passionately, okay? There's definitely energy of, I want to take action towards you. I miss you. Now, what's this Ten of Pentacles about? What is this, some kind of commitment here? The devil. Your person may be feeling tied up and bound to this uh, commitment or marriage of some sort. They could be feeling stuck. Some of you guys, if they're not in a marriage or commitment, this could be them just feeling as if like, commitment is a damn devil, <laughs> okay? This is someone who's associating commitment or marriage with something here that may not be good for them or that may keep them stuck or they may have to make a big sacrifice to get there. This is someone who may have some issues or conflict regarding commitment or marriage, okay? And that could be the reason why they're not coming towards you or why you've been waiting on this connection to come together forever because there's some, there's some challenges, there's some blocks, five of wands that they're putting up. Now, in terms of how do they see moving forward with you is the four of wands, together, harmony, okay? Bringing balance. Yeah, they don't see themselves happy without you. Nine of cups in reverse with the eight of swords. This is someone who they really see them coming towards you with this coming to repair this connection. This is about um, engagement, celebrating, you know? They want this. Some of you guys deal with the twin flame. They do want this balance here to be restored here in this connection. But it's telling me that right now they could really be feeling tied, bound, eight of, eight of swords here. And that's why they're not happy. So your person really is stuck. Physically stuck, mentally stuck, emotionally. There's something here where they're stuck. Now, let's see what's coming out in the outcome, the death, change. Five of wands and the seven of wands in reverse. I feel like eventually your person is going to become more clear on what they want. Seven of cups in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse. They may be willing to drop something here that may be causing a lot of confusion, distractions, okay, creating illusions here. Um, they're, they're becoming more clear, right? If they had a lot of options, seven of cups here. It's coming out in reverse. I'm also seeing the seven of swords in reverse. So this is someone who may want to clear the air with you eventually um, in order to bring some kind of change here with the death card. But um, this may not come in immediately. I'm getting for a lot of you guys, it may take some time for your person to realize that they have to do X, Y, and Z to make things better, right? To to keep you in their life. Um, but this is definitely someone who may be having to drop something, make a sacrifice, stop juggling, okay? Or going back and forth to uh, between you and another person. They may have to drop something and clear the air and make it up to you, right? The seven of swords in reverse, clear the air and speak truth in order for a new, a new beginning, in order for some kind of change, a transformation to take place, okay? Wow. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you guys. If this is your reading, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to pick a few cards from the Acts of the Universe.
So you've seen this deck on my Etsy shop. It is available for immediate shipping. All you got to do is ask your question and you get your answer. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? No knowledge of tarot needed. All right, Curious, what is your first question you want to ask? Always, I'm sorry, almost positive, okay? Almost positive. So that's a yes to me. All right, what is your second question, Aquarius? Let's get this one. C, in, in Espanol, okay? So yes, yes, in Espanol. All right, what is your third question, Aquarius? Get out of your head, okay? Get out of your head. Get out of your head. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, happy Friday. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll be with you guys next week. If you want to check out your bonus extended reading, How Does Your Person Feel, for June 1st to the 10th, it is available on Vimeo. What are they not saying? How do they want to move forward? What's going on behind the scenes? All that, all right? Take care.